I'm Will Gosling. I'm head of the um, Past Environmental Change Research Group at the Open University. And we look at um, environmental change in the past in the tropics, uh, looking at mainly lake sediments. And we go out onto lakes, we balance around on small inflatable rafts, and collect sediment cores from the bottom with a, like a little um, drilling rig. Once we get those sediments back to the lab, we extract uh, microfossils, all sorts of different types of things to build up a picture of how environments have changed in the past. We can look at fossil pollen to reconstruct vegetation, we can look at fossil insects to reconstruct elements of the climate, and we can look at things like charcoal, uh, which tells us about burning in the region. Now, charcoal is a really good indicator of uh, people arriving into any system, because one universal truth about people pretty much anywhere on the planet is when they arrive somewhere, they tend to burn stuff. So if we want to track when people start interacting with a, a, a landscape, then we can look for the charcoal signal, and that typically gives us a very good indication uh, of when people arrive. We can also look at different things to tell us about how people are managing the landscape. Um, we can, all, we can look at um, dung fungus, which is found within sediments. Uh, in the Andes, people started herding uh, camelids, llamas, uh, about a few thousand years ago. And when they started to do this, they get a lot of these llama close to the lake, uh, and there's obviously a lot of dung close to the lake. And you can see this massive spike in um, dung fungus that is incorporated within the lake sediments. And that tells us about how people are, are using these landscapes. So we've tracked through the high Andes uh, changes from hunter-gatherer populations living in these relatively small groups to the rise of uh, cultures in the central Andes, such as the Tiwanaku, who had major urban centers, maybe 70,000 people all living in one area. And obviously those populations have a different interaction with the landscape, they require different resources, they develop crops uh, and can do different things with the landscape. So that's... Um, what we're trying to do. We're trying to understand human interactions with the environment in the past and how the climate has affected that.